Tom Tom. <laughs> And I was disappointed because I really wanted to get in there and mess with stuff. There's a really cool c control console in there, and I wanted to push buttons. I love buttons. Buttons are fun. And uh, couldn't get into the building, so I go back down and I tell my partner about it. So she goes up there, and I'm watching it. And uh, next thing I know, I see her waving at me from inside the, the control tower. And she comes back down. I'm like, How did you get in? She's like, The door was wide open. What? No, everything was locked when I was, I was kicking on it, trying everything in my power to get into that building. So, yeah, I definitely believe in ghosts. I definitely believe, believe in uh, paranormal activity, and I think this is going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So, my next question would be, um, how does your faith fit into your belief, and what do you think ghosts are? Who my religious beliefs are different from everybody. I, I kind of have my own religious beliefs that, that don't gel with anybody else's. So, uh... I believe, my personal religious beliefs is I believe that we all have this energy in us. And the energy is tied to the planet, it's tied to, to Earth. And when we die, um, that energy among us, the, the energy that lives within us, that gives us life, that, that makes us us, that either gets redistributed back into the Earth to, to be reused for something else, or that energy gets lost and, and doesn't know what to do. And they just stay here until they until they either figure it out or you know, like it's recycled. I mean, obviously, I think the ghosts ghosts are not going to be here indefinitely. We're not going to have like in, in this building that we have here. If this building is to last for another five hundred years, it won't. But if it were, I don't think that the same ghosts are going to continue to haunt it. Otherwise, we'd have ghosts of T Rexes chasing us around. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I believe that, yeah, it, it's, the ghosts are just the, the, the energy left over from people that, you know, the energy is just not ready to go yet, for whatever reason. So what's the scariest paranormal event you've ever had happen? Oh, the scariest par I was left home alone at the age of 12, and uh, I was sitting upstairs, we lived in a two-level house, I was the only one in the house, and uh, I was talking to my girlfriend on the phone, and all of a sudden, the downstairs speakerphone kicked on. I was like, so I hang up the phone with my girlfriend, and the phone downstairs hangs up. And I can hear it, because it's the speakerphone. So I pick the phone up again. The phone downstairs picks up. I'm a 12-year-old boy, and I'm, I'm a very jumpy person as is. If you sneak up on me and scare me, I will scream like a little girl. At 12, this was amplified a jillion times, so I was scared out of my wits. I ran across the street to uh, my neighbor, who is a U.S. Deputy Marshal. There's somebody in my house. You need to go down there and shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. So he goes down to my house with his shotgun, and he sweeps. There's nobody in my basement. So I, I pick up the phone, and it doesn't happen again. And he looks at me like I'm, I'm a goofball, and he leaves. And then as soon as he leaves, I go to call my girlfriend again. Phone picks up again downstairs. Like, nope, I'm done. I went across the street and just stayed there for a minute. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a scary cat. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was a great interview. The paranormal experiences, it's more like a, like, I don't know how to explain it, it's like a feeling. I just feel it in my chest. It heats up while they're passing. And that's the only experience I've noticed. What about outside of the hospital? What's the, the, the most bizarre or scariest uh, paranormal experience you've ever had? When I was a little, little kid, my mom used to swear that I could talk to ghosts and I would see them. And the earliest memory I have, um, I used to see these black shadows on one side of my room, white ones on the left side, and the, they're the nice monsters and the bad monsters. I call them bosters and monsters. And my mom just swears that was ghosts or angels or something. Can I explain it? I saw them. I don't see them now. It's weird. So have you had anything happen to you as an adult that you couldn't explain? Mm, have I ever had anything happen to me as an adult that I couldn't explain? Um, lights turn on and off in certain rooms and houses that just swore nobody was there. That's it. So do you believe in ghosts? 
I do believe in ghosts. Um, I just haven't really gotten a chance to really prove it to myself. I don't know. I'm like 95% sure ghosts exist. 5% think it's just my own body reacting to energies around me. So what do you hope to have happen today? I kind of hope to see a ghost. I really do. So that'd be fun. <laughs> Thank you. I remember Perfect. I couldn't sleep and I had gone upstairs uh, to the living area. Everybody was out. There was a rocking chair in there that I loved. So I would sit in that rocking chair and rock. Well, when I got up there, somebody was already there in the chair. They were rocking. And he was an older, elderly man. And mind you, I was probably about six or seven, somewhere around that, that age group. And I sat down and I started having a conversation with him. You know, and I just assumed I come from a Hispanic family, so there's a lot of family members, and I'm always meeting cousins and aunts and uncles that I didn't know before. So I sat there and I had a conversation probably for several hours with the person. He was talking to me and everything, and then so the next morning we get up to make a long story short, and we're all having family breakfast, and I'm sitting there and I'm talking to my aunt Marge, and I said, "Well, is so and so going to join us?" And she was like, "Who are you talking about?" And I go, "Well, last night the guy that was in the room." He and I sat and talked for a very long time. And she's like, okay, Bobby, you, you know, and of course my parents were instantly, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about, you know, you're, he's a kid, and I said, no, 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 and I go on and I'm, I'm like adamant, listen, this is what happened. So my aunt's like, can you please describe who you were talking to? And so I started describing it, and I could tell there was this huge expression across her face of like, uh, kind of shock and disbelief, and she goes, can I show you a photo? And yeah, sure, you know, so she walks in with a, a photo, and it was her dad who had passed several years prior. The hat, everything, the way they always remembered him, there he was, and it was clear as day to me, this man was alive, and he was there in this room, and we had talked and talked and talked, and, you know, he was very nice, and, and I shared the experience with her, and um, she said that was a moment she cherished forever because he said things about her and, and the family, and so, you know, it was something that right then and there, it was like, bam, okay. Yeah, I believe in ghosts. So that was basically that incident. So, <coughs> so do you think you're psychic? No, <coughs> no, I don't. I'm, I'm kind of like Michael. I don't hold. I don't believe so much in it. I mean, I've come across people that I think have those abilities, but <coughs> I've also just in the. I'm gonna stop you. Start over because you didn't reiterate my oh, question, I'm sorry. and the okay. person who okay. watched the video won't okay. have a clue what okay. you're talking about. Do I believe in psychics? Not necessarily. I mean, I believe there are people that have some of those abilities. However, you got to understand, I have done ghost hunting before, and I've run into a lot of people, and this is a conversation that we kind of had earlier. Everybody seems to be psychic. And, you know, and some of it came off really preposterous and unbelievable. No, I'm kind of a skeptic in that area. That's the one area. But, again, I have met people who have told me things over my life and... What happened to you? Um, the scariest thing that's probably ever happened to me is um, uh, one time I was in my basement. Um, my parents weren't home. I was still living at home. Um, I was by myself and my cat was just kind of relaxing on the couch. Um, and my house has kind of been known to be really haunted. Um, some people have said that there's a portal way for spirits and things. Um, I was sitting there um, getting ready to turn on the TV um, and my cat stops dead in his tracks and looks to the bedroom that's down there and my mom usually keeps it as like a guest room um, and it was nice and neat covers were made and everything and then all of a sudden it sounded like there was like a, like a big tornado or something like a big wind come through there and then um, I kind of freaked out and I went to look in the room and everything was on the floor pillowcases were off the pillows, um, the windows came open, um, and it was really weird. Like, as I walked in, the windows literally came open. Um, and that was that was just really scary for me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything like that, especially being home alone. Um, yeah. Wow, that's very cool. So, going back to your psychic ability, what is the coolest experience you've ever had? Um, I've had a lot of cool experiences with my abilities. Um, I actually kind of freaked a friend out. <laughs> um, he, he's kind of a, a, a non-believer in those kind of things, and one day I just wanted to kind of trick him out. Um, 
So I was sitting yeah. at home, and I was like, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm reading a book. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, we're at your house right now. And he's like, you're not at my house. He's like, I'm going to go look, and you're not there. I'm like, okay, go ahead and look. He's like, I'm looking around. You're not here. I'm like, really? If I'm not here, then why is your clock two minutes ahead? And he was like, what do you mean? And he looked at his clock. He's like, where the hell are you? Where the hell are you? And he was looking around his house. And I said, I said, I see you're reading Harry Potter. I said, what chapter are you on? And he's like, I don't know where you were at, but you need to come out right now. And um, we finally showed up at the house eventually later because he waited for us. And he's like, so you really weren't here? And I was like, yeah, I really wasn't here. <laughs> so that was a fun experience, just kind of messing with us. Thank you so much. Great interview.